So I thought I'd walk you guys through our shop here and kind of show you what we're working on with this Case 500 drill. You see all these parts on this table behind me, all of this stuff are things that need to be replaced on that Case 500 drill. Um, basically, we're taking the entire closing and packing wheel arm off. A lot of those we're having to uh, torch off because they'd started to seize up. We had them come out and put a greaser kit thing on there and that still didn't fix the problem. And so now there's more of them seized up. Probably half of these things we're gonna have to torch and then pound the other direction out with an air hammer is about the only thing we found that works. So that's this arm right here. And if you look at this, this piece, this pin right here and the bushing that it goes into, the metals weren't very compatible. They started to seize up on most all of these case distros at some point, it sounds like. And unfortunately, it's not a warrantied thing. So we are having to replace all of those with all of these parts. 20 some thousand bucks worth of parts, of course. Uh, so the honeymoon's over on the distro. This should completely fix that. Ready Egg makes a kit where we put bearings in there where the bushings were. And then on this piece, there's actually gonna be a bolt that goes through there with a, a spacer bushing in between those bearings. And then if anything goes wrong with the bearing, which that should last a lot longer than this crappy setup, it'd be easy. We just take the bolts apart, pound it out, put new bearings in and replace it. So I think it'll be fine going forward. We've really loved that drill other than this hiccup here. But um, if any of you guys have a Case 500 distro, especially if it sits out over the winter, I would check and make sure that those um, closing wheels pick up and down freely or whatever and that they spring back we had some trouble a little bit of emergence trouble last year you could see in certain rows where i think these were starting to hang up so so you might want to check that out uh, the other thing i was going to show you guys is the uh, johnson sues and us using food waste um, and how much the worms like that so the worms are a big part of this process to make a really good product you can see we dump our food waste in here you know how often green stuff goes to waste in the fridge if you dig underneath this food waste there's usually a whole mat of worms down in underneath here. You can see them here, kind of. So if you're doing Johnson Sue's anyways, you can see how much this is composted down already. We're getting a real nice, more kind of a clay product, which is how that should turn out. Um, most of the wood chips underneath the top, that the top we don't keep as wet as we should probably, but underneath there, the worms and the biology are really breaking this down and it really looks good under the microscope. But why not use all your waste greens in this stuff as well? There are certain things worms don't like. You can Google that, but a lot of it's like hot peppers or onions, um, stuff that you wouldn't want to feed to them. But in general, we've got lettuce, tomatoes, and celery that are in here. That stuff will sit there for probably a week and then I'll come back and most of it will be played out by the time we come back in here. And then the worms really proliferate underneath that. So we'll keep you guys updated. Uh, we're gonna leave on vacation here pretty soon, but we'll take you out to that case drill project when it warms up enough to get going on that again and show you uh, kind of the tricks we've learned on that and to make it not quite as horrible of a job, although it's pretty bad. So have a great weekend.